Hey everybody, everything new under the sun. Trying to bring you some uh, news that is uh, interesting and uh, eschatologically uh, accurate and interesting and exciting. And we know in the last days there's going to be a great delusion. And there's going to be a, a, a huge number of uh, things that are happening on the earth which are just astounding and amazing people, uh, scaring them uh, and uh, causing their hearts to fail for fear of things coming upon them. And one of them could be aliens. We're going to take a look at a couple things about aliens uh, tonight uh, as we uh, kind of talk about uh, what could possibly be in uh, our future as it relates to aliens. Well, this is this article here uh, is from IsraelNationalNews.com. Yuri Geller warns NASA to prepare for impending alien invasion. Uh, now, who is uh, Yuri Geller, you might ask? Well, this is uh, Wikipedia. He's an Israeli-British illusionist, magician, television personality, and self-proclaimed psychic. Now, when they start talking about psychics, uh, that starts uh, definitely getting into the realms of demonic activity uh, and the, the, the uh, uh, demonic realm, other dimensions. Uh, so it, uh, it will kind of make sense to me that he is talking about this. And I think... Uh, the evil spirits, the demons, want people to believe that they're aliens. They're going to materialize as, as something that might scare us or have some sort of control over us. And apparently, angels and demons can materialize in different forms. And they ha also have a lot of power. So interesting when you talk about, again, psychics here. He is known for his trademark tele television performances of spoon-bending and other illusions. Geller uses conjuring tricks to simulate the effects of psychokinesis and, and telepathy. Geller's career as an entertainer has spent more than four decades. And when you talk about these magicians who uh, do these uh, great and incredible um, you know, sleight of hands or tricks or effects or magic, you have to wonder, is there any sort of demonic activity uh, there or power that they have? And certainly we know uh, throughout the Bible various cases where, uh, you know, the witch of Endor um, uh, making money, uh, you know, uh, and uh, there's, there's lots of uh, demonic power uh, spoken of in uh, the Bible and used for, uh, well, either making money or uh, giving someone power. Um, you know, it's usually a selfish thing. It's not usually a loving thing. Where de uh, or not ever a, de a loving thing where demonic powers are in control of people. But again, it, it's not uh, out of the realm of possibility. So it would make sense that if we have stories of this in the Bible, like the, the Witch of Endor, then you would expect people today, maybe many of them, maybe thousands, maybe tens of thousands uh, or hundreds of thousands of people have some sort of a, a demonic activity uh, or have had an experience with demons. And so... Again, I wouldn't put it past someone like this to uh, be into that sort of thing. We need to be very careful about that. We need to keep uh, the Lord Jesus Christ close. Obviously, the Holy Spirit's in our heart, um, so the, uh, the devil can't uh, possess us. Uh, but the devil has strength and power in this world uh, that God allows him to have for a period of time. So we need to be careful and, and <clears throat> respectful of that. Uh, and by, when I say respect, it means we need to understand that there is uh, a certain power there and to not dabble in it and to not um, treat it lightly. But this goes on. Alien invasion. He thinks uh, there's going to be an alien invasion. He's warning NASA. Uh, Israeli magician Yuri Geller has warned NASA an alien invasion of Earth will take place in the near future. So uh, what does that mean? According to the Daily Star, the mentalist famous for bending spoons believes the scientists studying interstellar radio waves stumble upon an alien armada heading straight to toward us. He points to a recent discovery of an immense ball of energy about 4,000 light years away. Geller 75 believes that the energy source is evidence of the communications of alien beings far superior to humans. He also believes that the advanced civilization is planning invasion. A team mapping the radio waves in the universe have discovered something unusual that releases a giant burst of energy three times an hour, and it's unlike anything astronomers have seen. So he thinks uh, alien invasion 
is coming. And uh, wouldn't that be an interesting thing? If the Christians were raptured out, could they say maybe there's been a great alien abduction of all the Christians? Maybe the Christians uh, were doing something bad, so the aliens uh, cleared uh, or cleaned the earth of uh, those Christians who were not following, of course, the global government and, and the rules of the New World Order and that sort of thing. Well, you know, you t again, you talk about aliens, even though it's more and more in the news these days, you think it's a, a silly thing. But NASA doesn't think it's a silly thing. Now, this is an article that you've uh, probably have seen before, but I want to connect the two. NASA hired 24 theologians to study human reaction to aliens. NASA's hired 24 theologians, people of various religions who study them, to understand how uh, humans uh, within those various religious groups might take or understand or react to aliens in their worldview, in uh, their uh, sphere of uh, religion or faith, and what it would mean to their faith if this were to occur. So NASA thinks there's a big deal here, and, and they're getting in front of this, not wanting to scare the human population, and getting to the leaders of the religious faiths to say, you know, what would happen, and maybe you want to get your people ready for this. It's interesting because NASA, I think, if, if this is true, and you know, I, I believe it is true, uh, there's a lot of stories actually about NASA doing this, so, uh, and, uh, so I believe that NASA believes that aliens are, are real. Says between heaven and earth, where do aliens fit in? That's a question that NASA hopes theologians at the Center for Theological Inquiry in Princeton, New Jersey, can answer in a recent effort to understand how humans will react to news that intelligent life exists on other planets. From a Christian point of view, intelligent life does exist. Uh, now, uh, it comes in the form of angels, demons, and God. So there is intelligence out there. They've got that piece right. They won't come... Uh, as aliens are not uh, aliens as you and I would think of them, but they're demons in disguise. So if or uh, when these aliens, quote unquote, do show themselves or are revealed to the world, I indeed believe they will be demons cloaked in whatever alien skin or outfit fit, uh, uh, they think will um, make us uh, you know, scared the most or, or whatever, whatever their intent is. <clears throat> University of Cambridge religious scholar, Reverend Dr. Andrew Davison, who also holds a doctorate in biochemistry, is one of the 24 theologians enlisted to help with the project. In a recent statement, Davison said his research so far has already seen just how frequently theology and astrobiology have been topic in popular writing during the previous 150 years. Davison's upcoming book, Astrology and Christian Doctrine, due out in 2022, will cover part of the CTI and NASA's joint spiritual explore, uh, exploration in which his most significant question is how theologians would respond to the notion of there having been many incarnations of Christ in the universe. So these uh, people are putting, NASA's putting a bunch of things out there and saying, you know, what if this was the true? This could be true. And I think it would, this will actually rock a lot of people's faith. They'll say, oh, NASA's saying this and this could be true. Maybe there is a multiverse. Maybe there are many incarnations. Maybe there are more than one uh, Jesus Christ who died and rose again. So he died and rose again on, on many earths. You know, did he die and uh, resurrect from the dead on earth, this earth for uh, all these aliens or was it just for the, the human folk? And so he's going to really cause a lot of people, uh, faithful people, to question what's going on and question their faith. And many will fall from their faith because they'll be like, yeah, it doesn't make sense. I can't answer those questions. Um, at the end of the day, you need to know that these aliens uh, are demons. And uh, I believe that is what the Bible uh, describes them as ultimately. I don't know what else they would be. Suffice it to say, NASA thinks this is a big deal. They're getting the religions on board, uh, the various leaders of the religions, the theologians, on board with this idea. Um, so when you do see come, something come down the pipe, don't take their word for it. Where do you go? You go to your Bible. You go read to your Bible about demons and um uh, <clears throat> Um, the uh, different, um, what's the word I'm thinking about, the different uh, levels uh, of atmosphere and the different dimensions uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the Lord's kingdom and hell, these extra dimensions that we don't have access to, we can't see, 
but demons and angels can somehow go between them, you know, through worm holes or whatever, in whatever manner, uh, very quickly, uh, in the twinkling of an eye, you might suggest, uh, similar to how we might uh, be raptured out of here, going from one dimension to another dimension. They can do the same. They can materialize in our 3D uh, world. So incredible stuff. This is a, a big topic. Uh, this is a serious company, obviously NASA, uh, looking to see what how the world would react to this. And so the, the question is then, how will they present this to the world if they have ev any evidence of this? Uh, they don't want to scare people. But, you know, to control people, there might be some advantage to be able to control people if you present this in the right, uh, uh, in the right way to them. So another thing to add to your list of uh, things that are going to happen in 2022 or, or crazy things that could happen, and I believe 2022 is going to be worse, and I think in Canada certainly it's uh, been worse and crazier uh, than the prior year, and I think it's going to be that way everywhere as we move along on the timeline of the return of the Lord. I think all of this moves us into a place where the public is uh, fearful, where the public is destitute, where they're run down, they're run over, they have no hope anymore, they're scared of the things coming upon them, and so they accept a world government, a world leader, a world currency, and a seven-year period, uh, and a mark of the beast along with that, uh, with that new currency there. And this is how uh, Satan controls the world. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll leave it there. We'll see you in the next video.